The brains behind the Raven, the creator of the fall of the House of Usher, and the mastermind who spawned the Telltale Heart was in fact a genius, even though the people of his time didn't think so. Who could it be? None other than the great Edgar Allan Poe. Poe had a rough childhood. He faced many difficulties, such as having his father leave him, have his mom die, get separated from his siblings, and get adopted all when he was very young. Poe was adopted by a wealthy tobacco merchant, John Allen, and his wife, Frances Valentine Allen, although he got along better with Frances rather than John. John tried to make Poe a businessman, but his efforts were all in vain, for Poe had been inspired by British poet Lord Byron to become a writer. So Poe decided to follow his dream of writing poetry. He ended up leaving Richmond to attend the University of Virginia, gaining debt, but probably due to the fact that he was sent to college with less than a third of the money he needed and because of the gambling, but he did excel in his classes. The debt was so much, in fact, that he would go to the extremes of, of burning his furniture for warmth and had to leave one year because Allen wouldn't pay for the, all his debt. When he returned, Poe found that his fiancée was engaged with another man, sadly, and his relationship with Alan deteriorated. In 1829, Poe enlisted in the army. Not that long after, he published his first collection of poems, Tamerlane and Other Poems, and his second collection, Al Araf Tamerlane and Minor Poems, in 1829. Sadly, neither volumes received much critical or public attention. He ended up being admitted to the, United to the United States Military Academy, but was forced to leave due to lack of financial support. After, he moved with his Aunt Maria Clem and her daughter Virginia in Baltimore. In 1835, Poe began to sell short stories and later became the editor of the Southern Literary Messenger in Richmond. He quickly earned a reputation for being a merciless critic and writing ferocious reviews about his opponents. The following year, he married his cousin Virginia, which was only 14. Over the next decade, he would edit several literary journals, such as the Burton's Gentleman's Magazine and Graham's Magazine and the Broadway Journal, and he established himself as a poet, short story writer, and an editor. This was when he published his famous works, such as The Fall of the House of Usher and The Raven, which didn't receive very good reviews because of his type of writing, which was close to the opposite of what was considered normal for the time period, which was romantic stories. In 1847, Virginia died of tuberculosis, which worsened his depression and alcoholism, and she wanted to see him before she died, but alas, Poe didn't make it in time. The streak of bad luck didn't end there. He got mugged by his own cousins and was left nothing to inherit from when Alan died. Poe returned to Richmond for a brief moment in 1849 and in Philadelphia set up for an editing job. He then stopped in Baltimore for unknown reasons, where he was found in a state of semi-consciousness on October 3rd, 1849. Poe died four, later, four days later of acute congestion of the brain, but later rabies was a suggested reason of death. Many years later, people revised his works and discovered that he was, in fact, a genius for the amount of detail and the way he used intricate and complex vocabulary. His works left a huge mark in literature for he was the first to write about such topics. He created the horror and detective genre and influence a mass of famous people. One of such people is Stephen King. Stephen King was born on September 21st, 1947 in Portland, Maine and was the second child in the family. When he was very young, his parents separated and he was left with his brother, David, and at age 11, his mom brought her children to Durham, Maine for good. King attended grammar school in Durham and graduated in 1966 from Lisbon High School. He then went to the University of Verano where he at, was active in student politics, served as a member of the student senate, and wrote in a weekly column for the new school newspaper called The Main Campus. In 1967, he wrote The Glass Floor, which was his first professional short, short story. King graduated in 1970 with a BA in English with the capacity to teach at a high school level. King married Tabitha Stru Spruce in January of the following year. He then sold stories to men's magazines in the early years of his marriage. Then he went into teaching high school English class at Hamden Academy at Hamden, Maine. Although he continued to teach, he kept writing on the evenings and on the weekends. One of his first stories to be accepted for publication was Carrie. 
by Doubleday & Co. in 1973. Later, on Mother's Day to be exact, Stefan learned that he could leave his teaching career and pursue a career of becoming a full-time writer because of the huge paperback sale on the book Carrie. He then moved to Southern Maine in 1973 due to his mother following ill. You might be thinking, how is there a connection between the two writers? Stephen King was inspired by Poe to write in the horror genre and even s said many things regarding the famous writer Poe. One of such things, Stephen said, was, I came along and read all of those guys, so you can say that we were all twisted by our evil grandfather. After saying that Poe was the inspiration for many of his favorite authors. King even went to the extent of making a story called The All Dude's Ticker, which is just a retelling of The Telltale Heart, and cited Poe as an author he loved during his teen years. <laughs>